There is still one good way to identify YouTube science slop channels, at least right now. So I just got this email from a family in Ireland. My kids love science videos and it's very hard to communicate what is good and what is legit versus spam science. Is there a safe list and or banned list out there? Unfortunately, no, there is no list, but there is still one pretty surefire way to determine whether or not a channel is slopping it up in slop town. Here's an example of a spam channel that I found, I don't care that I'm featuring you, get wrecked. Now, if you go to the videos tab on a channel you're suspicious about, there's one thing you can look for. Look for the volume of videos that they are publishing. Now, I've been doing this for a while, and I know for a fact that not me, not Veritasium, not Vsauce, no other big YouTuber can produce science videos that are longer than 10 minutes, sometimes twice a day, Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. There is simply no physical way to produce good science content on YouTube this quickly. If they are doing so, they are using slop or copyrighted content or all of the above. Now, if you wanna go even further and check these channels, all of their thumbnails probably look the same. They're probably owned by all the same companies. You can check their description and see that they usually say something like, hey, this is just for educational purposes. Please don't copyright strike us. Instead of doing that, send us an email that we're never gonna to respond to. So until this slop gets harder and harder to detect, thanks, Sam Altman, checking the volume of a channel is still a pretty good way to indicate whether or not your kid should be watching it. See how little I upload? That means it's good. Mm, so good. 